Hey guys, today I would like to show you the functionality of our module Amazon Odoo Bridge. This module synchronizes data between Amazon and Odoo. It means it imports products, categories, orders and partners from Amazon to Odoo and it also exports and updates Odoo products on Amazon. So let's install this module first. For that, I'll go to settings and then I will activate the developer mode. Then go to apps and under apps click on update apps list. Click on update. So here Amazon Odoo Bridge and its dependent module Odoo Multi-Channel Sale is showing. Firstly I will install this dependent module. Click on install. This module has been installed and a new menu multi-channel is appearing here. Now I will install Amazon Odoo Bridge. Click on install. Here you can see both modules Amazon Odoo Bridge and its dependent module Odoo Multi-Channel Sale has been installed. Now I will explain you the configuration part of this module. For that go to multi-channel and under instances you can see one Amazon instance is created. Channel name is Amazon and channel type is Amazon. These are the Amazon and AWS credentials. Now coming to the configuration part. The first field is sequence for SKU. For those products whose SKU is missing, then the value of this field will be taken as a value of SKU when those products are exported from Odoo to Amazon. Now the next field is language field. Here we will select a language in which Amazon is being operated. Then coming to the default price list field. Here we will select a default price list and assign the same currency to it on which the customer will make a purchase at Amazon end. Then coming to sales team. Select a sales team here in order to keep a track at the time of generating report. Then next field is discount product. When a sale order is synchronized from Amazon to Odoo and in case if any discount is applied to it, then that discount can be added here as a discount product in sale order lines and that discount product will be of service type. Now coming to the next field that is default category. It is used as a product internal category. All the products which are imported from Amazon to Odoo will come under this category. Similarly for default warehouse and default product stock location. All the products which are imported from Amazon to Odoo will come under this warehouse and this stock location. Now coming to auto evaluate feed. Normally when products are imported from Amazon to Odoo, then all the products comes under feed. And in order to synchronize them to Odoo, we need to manually evaluate them. But when this field is enabled, the products will be automatically evaluated and their corresponding mapping will be created at Odoo end. The next field is Auto Sync Stock. When this field is enabled, the stock will be automatically synchronized between Amazon and Odoo. Now coming to the order state configuration. In order to map Odoo order state like quotation, draft, confirmed and many other states according to the Amazon order state, then we need to configure the order states of both channel accordingly. For example, the order state of Amazon is defined as confirmed and for that the Odoo order state is mapped as sale order state, this one and similarly create invoice field is enabled and you can set the invoice state as open or paid and also you can enable the create shipment. So we have mapped the channel state of confirmed at Amazon end as a sale order state at Odoo end. Also if channel state is not matched with Odoo state then it will come under default state at Odoo end. This one is the default state. So this is about the configuration part of this module. Now I will let you know how we can import our product from Amazon to Odoo. For that go to multi-channel again. Then instances under operation tab click on import product. 
it send a process it will import my products from amazon to odoo here 58 new products are created at odoo end it means we've imported our product and you can check the same under dashboard these are the 58 products and their corresponding 44 categories to check the product you can check the list of those products similarly you can check the list of categories so in this way we have imported our products and its corresponding categories from amazon to odoo now let's import our order from amazon to odoo at odoo end we need to click on import order and now for that we need to go to the amazon end this is my order which is placed and i want to import this order from amazon to odoo so now coming again to the odoo part click on import order select the report here and select the date the particular date on which the order was placed at amazon end you can select the list from this drop down date from date and to date the date has been selected now click on import now Total one new order is created and we can check the same order at Odoo and for that go to sales under quotations. This is my recent order. So my order is imported along with the customer and its address. So this is my order. So in this way we have imported our order and its corresponding customer and its address from Amazon to Odoo. Now I'll explain you how we can export our product from Odoo to Amazon. For that, go to sales, then products, search any product here. Let's say I've selected this one. Then click here. Go to action. Click on export or update templates. Select Amazon channel. Then SK sequences product and feed type is product. Then click on export product. It's under process. Now click here and in order to reflect this product at Amazon end, we need to click on get feed result. Now I'll show you the Amazon part. Coming to the Amazon part, you can search the product from the list. As you can see, this is my recent product which is exported, product name and its quantity along with the price. So here I have exported my product from Odoo to Amazon. Also if you want to update your product like description, features, price, then for that you need to click on update. So in this way we have imported our products, orders, customers and categories from Amazon to Odoo and also we have exported and updated our product from Odoo to Amazon. So this is about the workflow of this module. In case if you have any query or doubt with the same, feel free to drop us a mail at support at the rate Thank you so much for watching this video.